So now I'm going to show you how to enlarge your shape from a centre of enlargement. Um, so let's have a look at example one. So we've got to enlarge the shape by a scale factor times two from the centre of the enlargement. So here's your centre of enlargement here, and we have to enlarge this triangle by a scale factor times two. That means we've got to make it twice as big. Now the easiest and neatest way of doing this is to count the distance from the centre of enlargement to each of the corners. So let me do this first of all. So we're going to count from the centre to each corner. So the first corner, let's do the top one, is two squares right, one square up. So let me make a note of that, two right, one up. Let's do this corner next, so again count from the centre to the corner. So it's one, two, three, four, four right and one down. Again make a note of that. And one last corner here. Well, from the centre to that corner it's just going to be one, two, three squares down. So since it's a scale factor times two, we need to double these distances. So if we double two right one up, we get four right two up. If we double 4 right 1 down, we get 8 right and 2 down. And if we double 3 down, we get 6 down. So all we need to do then is plot our new corners now. So if we count these new distances out in red, so the first one's 4 right 2 up. So again count from the centre. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Next corner here is 8 right and 2 down, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, and our final corner was just 6 down, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So once you've plotted your points, just join those points up neatly with your ruler. So as you can see, all the side lengths of this new shape are twice as big as the side lengths in the first shape. So let me do another example. So in example 2 we've got a nicer shape by a scale factor times 3 this time, so that's 3 times as big. Again from the centre of enlargement. This time I've placed the centre of enlargement inside the shape. So first thing then, count the distances from the centre to each of your three corners. So let me do this one first. So it's going to be one right and two up. Let me do this corner next. So this will be from the centre to the corner. One, two, three left and two down. Let's make a note of that. And our final corner here. Again count from the centre to the corner. 1, 2, 2 right, 1, 2, 3 down. So this time our scale factor time is times 3, so we need to multiply all these distances by 3. So if we times this by 3, we get 3 right and 6 up. If we times the next corner by 3, we get 9 left and 6 down. And our final one will be 6 right and 9 down. So we just need to plot our new corners then. So if we do all these ones in red. So our first corner was 3 right and 6 up. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Our next corner was 9 left and 6 down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And our final corner was 6 right and 9 down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So again, finally, just join all your corners up. There you go, so you can see it's the same as the original shape, but all the side lengths are three times as big. 
So the main thing to remember is to count the distances from the centre to each corner. If you remember that, you shouldn't go wrong with these enlargements.